Okay. Uh, saya rasa kita dah online di YouTube So ya yeah. uh, kita accept semua lah ya Admit semua boleh ke? Kan nak test dulu uh, Saya rasa kita dah online di YouTube Ya yeah, ya yeah, betul so, Ya yeah. uh, kita accept semua lah ya Admit semua boleh ke? Kan nak test dulu. So. Yeah, right. Hello, lepas so, dia pakai kan? Faham tak? Maksudnya. Ini dah kena do Boleh besok Ngecil Kamu tak nak join? Join lah sini. Apa ni? Um, tak. Nanti dapat pas saja. Eh. Ah, uh, uh, Tara, I think I, I need to share the sound. So I uh, I share the screen dulu boleh? Sebentar ya. Cari solusi, anda Assalamualaikum. Boleh tak saya nak try share saya punya presentation sekejap? <coughs> Boleh doktor boleh continue? Right uh, saya, saya ni dulu, saya make cover dulu. Uh -huh. Okay. Alright. Boleh nampak ke slide saya? Ah uh, nampak doktor. Ya. 
Cuma sekejap saya cek dekat YouTube dulu tu. Ah boleh. Okay, okay. Okay, Doktor. YouTube on. So now. Uh, nampak. nampak lah eh. Okay, yeah. saya stop sharing lah sekejap. <laughs> Okay, saya nak share sekejap. Bé họ chứng được block nó. Anh có được block kiểu này. Uh, I'm so sorry for technical issue. Saya tak boleh nak play the sound. So I hope you can bear with us for a while. Mungkin kita akan start at 1 o'clock. Sorry ya. Yeah.
Right. Yeah, dia tak, tak bagi lalu. Lepas tu kan, I tengok kan orang pun macam yang nak lalu tu lalu je. Faham tak? Terima <laughs>
Hi everyone, we will start our webinar at 1 p.m. Yeah, another two minutes. So, un Prabhu. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I'm Dr. Nabi Hazaruddin. I'm a pediatric dental lecturer from Faculty of Dentistry, uh, University of Malaya. And I'll be your moderator for this very special session. And uh, it's fantastic to see uh, so many familiar and new faces joining us for the first uh, MAPD webinar for 2024. So actually, you can join us uh, through Zoom and YouTube. Uh, if you suddenly um, disconnected due to internet connection issues and not able to rejoin us on Zoom uh, because it's full, don't worry, you can still join us on uh, YouTube Live. So actually we are expecting a full house today. So I would like to take uh, this opportunity to congratulate uh, MAPD for keeping this incredible initiative going. I think uh, this effort um, uh, that brings us together uh, to learn, share and grow. So before we dive into today's exciting topic, I just uh, would like to remind you on a few uh, quick housekeeping notes. And please remember, please keep your microphone muted okay, throughout the lecture to avoid any uh, background noise. If you have any question, feel free to drop them in the chat box. And uh, I'll be sure to read them out at the end of uh, the lecture for our speaker to answer. And don't forget, the attendance link will be shared uh, about 10 minutes before we wrap up. So uh, make sure you stick around with us. So today's topic is um, on teeth grinding, when to worry. Okay? A question that I'm sure uh, many of us uh, have accounted from concerned parents and patients. So I guess it's a common issue, but uh, also uh, one uh, shouted in a lot of questions and uncertainties. So, well, that's why we are here. We are here to get some clarity on this matter. And who better to guide us through this um, than our esteemed speaker for today? Let me introduce you to someone uh, whom I have the privilege of calling my sister from my days in uh, Perak. Not only was she an incredible counsellor to me, but also someone who always uh, had the best advice 
on pretty much everything. Please welcome Dr. Suhailiza Binti Saharudin. She's a pediatric uh, dental specialist from the Department of Pediatric Dentistry, Hospital uh, Raja Permaisuri Bainon, uh, Ipoh Perak. Uh, Dr. Suhailiza comes yeah. with an Isa. impressive background. She graduated with a Bachelor of Dental Degree. She graduated with a Bachelor of Dental Surgery from University of Malaya, Kuala Lumpur in 2005. And she is holding a Master in Pediatric Dentistry from University of Science Malaysia, Kelantan in 2014. And not to mention, she is a Fellow of the Royal Australasian College of Dental Surgeon in Sydney, Australia and has numerous publications uh, to her name. So without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to Dr. Swaliza to dive in this uh, to this topic. Over to you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum uh, and a very good afternoon. Am I audible to everyone? Am I audible? Yes, it's good. Okay, so okay. give me a minute actually for me to share the presentation. So... Okay, is my slide is viewable? Yes, all good. Okay. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Uh, first of all, actually, I would like to thank uh, MAPD to give me the opportunity actually to become a speaker uh, for the first uh, webinar session from the MAPD for uh, 2024. So, I'm not actually, uh, basically, I'm not like expertise in this field, but I would like to share whatever that knowledge that I have and experience actually regarding to this topic. Okay, my topic today is uh, teeth grinding in children. So before that, I would like, uh, even though actually already introduced by uh, Dr. Nabiha, I'm Dr. Swahiliza Sarudin from uh, Hospital Raja Bumaisuri Bainu Depot. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, this is a content for today's uh, webinar. So I'm going to cover about the definition, uh, classification, uh, pathophysiology, etiology, diagnosis, and management of the bruxism. Okay, bruxism itself or teeth grinding uh, is defined uh, as a repetitive and non-functional activity of masticatory muscle characterized by clenching or grinding of teeth. Okay, it's going to be like uh, this uh, Frank Lo Lobezo uh, gathered all the nine expertise in this field and uh, produced an update uh, definition of bruxism. So definitely, uh, it is a repetitive masticatory muscle activity and characterized by clenching and tooth grinding with or without bracing or thrusting of the mandible with the circadian symptoms such as facial tightness, head and neck pain and insomnia and have a circadian manifestation. Okay, uh, bruxism itself actually largely classified into uh, two categories. <clears throat> Either is awake bruxism or sleep bruxism. So it actually depends on the, the circadian manifestation. So means that if you're grinding teeth or clenching of teeth uh, while a person is conscious, it's called as awake bruxism. And while a patient is sleeping, uh, unconscious, so it becomes a sleep bruxism. So by prevalence, awake bruxism is about 5% in the general pop 